Hey, what's up everyone? This is The Loser, and if you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure you saw my first video on how to get the most valuable hidden chests in Skyrim. If you haven't, I'll annotate it. You should check it out. But in this video, it's going to be part two to that, and I'm going to show you four more hidden chests in Skyrim in which that are just as valuable or maybe even better. Now, some of these are a little harder, though, and you need to know how to walk through walls with plates and platters. So, where you want to go to get some of these, I'm pretty sure everyone can go here. Just go to Whiterun, and then go to Dragon's Reach Palace. Walk in the front door and then just come over to this table and grab some of this stuff. Alright, so the first one I'm going to show you guys, I have it saved, is in the Hall of Countenance at the College of Winterhold. So I'm going to load that up and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so we are at the Hall of Countenance. Now, if you don't know how to get here, <clears throat> it's fairly easy. On your map, I'll show you what to do. You just want to go to Winterhold, which is in the top right area. And then you want to go to the College of Winterhold. And then when you get there, you want to take a, a quick right and there will be a door, the first door on your right, it will be called the Hall of Countenance. <clears throat> so, sorry, throat's kind of stuffy. Uh, you want to enter the door and right when you come in, you just want to go right to the right and you see I already have a platter here. And then you want to go up to this wall and push through it. So now you can see I'm through it. Now you can do this from coming through this side. It's, um, I couldn't get it to work for me, so I just did it from this side. It's pretty easy. Now, the chests are actually right under me right here. So this might take me a few tries, but you just want to like kind of look right here and then move forward to the left and then click A pretty fast and see if you can reach them. See, like that, I missed. But you see there's four chests right there. Hold on, I'll try and do this again to show you guys now. It's pretty hard to do the first time, but you'll get it eventually. Yeah, I can't even click it. <laughs> There's four chests right there. Hold on. Okay, so we walk through. Look. Click A. There we go. Got it. So there's four chests. I'm not sure you can loot all of them. I'm pretty sure you can loot the first two. I don't know if you can reach the other ones, but I mean, this is an amazing chest in itself. There's probably at least like 10,000 worth of stuff in here. Maybe not quite, but I mean, look at all of it. There's just rope. Yeah. There's two of those. Yeah, definitely just big amount of money. So that's a great chest for you guys. Alright, the next one I want to show you is in Markarth. So, this is a really easy one. This is just like the Dawnstar one where you look at the ground. So, one sec. Okay, so where I'm at right now, I'm on my Beast Ash Shadow Mirror. But the Markarth stables, I'm here. And then the entrance to Markarth is right there. So, you're going to be right here. And then you can walk, run, doesn't really matter. I'm going to take my horse, it's a little faster. But just follow this path. and then you want to keep following come down here and you'll see that bridge up ahead that's when you know you're at the right place so I'll get off my horse Whoa. alright and right behind this wall just crouch I'm not even sure you have to crouch let's see no you don't have to crouch but it's right it's just a little spot and this is just like the Dawnstar one I'm pretty sure this is the Khajiit Khajiit Caravan, don't quote me on that, but it looks like it by what's inside it. And there's just about the same stuff as in the Dawnstar chest, this is a great one too. Okay, let's see, the third one I'm going to show you is in Solitude. This is just like the last one, this is definitely a Khajiit Caravan chest, so I'm pretty sure you guys will like this one too. Alright guys, so now we're at Solitude. As you can see, there's the entrance to Solitude, so when you come out there, you just want to follow the path. You'll get through the second passway with the arches, and then you just want to take it left, and there'll be this tree right here. And see, as you can see, the Khajiit Caravan's right here, so this is how I know it's their chest. And then right here, there's a blue twig. It's kind of in this area. It's kind of hard to see, probably, on the computer, but you can see it on your TV. And then you just want to look, and it's just a little spot, just like the last one. Click it, and there we go, Khajiit Caravan chest right there. Okay, so... I'm going to show you the last one, and the last one is in the Blue Palace. Ignore what I'm doing on my screen right now. I'm just trying to show you guys that Khajiits are the best. Okay, so last one, you want to go to the Blue Palace. This is in Solitude. All right, guys, so here's the Blue Palace. When you fast travel, you'll be right about here. This is on the far side of Solitude when you go inside. Here's Solitude. Here's the Blue Palace. All right, so what you want to do is just go inside this door. Is that fur coming out of your ears? You hear that guard? Dick. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so 
<clears throat> there's a mage in this castle or palace, whatever you want to call it, and it's actually her chest, I believe. So I'll show you guys how to get this one. This one's actually kind of hard. It's it took me a few tries at first. I'll show you what you can do though. I got a technique down that it makes it pretty easy. Okay, so we're gonna drop our platter. When you enter the blue palace, you just want to come right here, take a left, and this first not first wall, the second wall next to the bench. This is a really easy one to get through the wall though, so I'll show you what you want to do. So get your platter on. Okay guys, so it took me a while to get in here, but I finally got it. So what you want to do is walk out on this little beam, and I'm going to highly suggest you save right here just in case, because this is pretty hard to do, and you'll get put back at the beginning of the palace. So instead of jumping on it, which doesn't really work, you can't jump on it, it'll send you right through the map. I look up and then just click A really fast and as you can see it like catches you and then I caught the chest so what's in this one is some really good soul gems and some scrolls spell tomes it's a mage that owns it alright guys so that was it for this video if you liked it please leave me a like this takes me a while to make and it is pretty hard to get these all down for a video and actually get them each time I just dropped my Morokai whatever alright so yeah, if this video helped you, leave a like, leave a comment, and maybe even subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.